It's been a common criticism within uh, anarchism, not only within anarchism, I guess sometimes also from, you know, outside of anarchism, to label certain anarchists as uh, lifestylists, which I guess most commonly, I guess people have different definitions of that and different reasons for using that term, but I guess most commonly it would refer to people who kind of embrace anarchism as some kind of identity that for whatever reason seems appealing and then in their political practice focus on things that to some people seem fairly insignificant uh, maybe within the wider you know social context you know uh, having your squad and you know living with eight friends and calling that revolutionary or whatever or you know being vegan and calling that revolutionary or even you know um, express your anarchism mainly in the clothes you wear or the badges you have on your jacket or whatnot. I mean, I guess I understand where some of that criticism comes from. You know, I understand that people maybe get frustrated with folks who hold the anarchist banner high and that don't actually, and then don't actually maybe seem to want to spend so much time on uh, political organizing, for example. Yet at the same time, I never really understood the devaluation of lifestyle as a, a political means, to be honest. Because at the end of the day, I mean, I, I think it's great, you know, people spend a lot of time on it, on political organizing and other things. But at the end of the day, changing your everyday life, I guess, is part of any um, political struggle, certainly part of an anarchist. Uh, struggle and I think that's what you know lifestyle even as a term at the end of the day is about so I never really understood that kind of uh, opposition that was created there between doing political work or being a lifestyle list again I mean there are certain aspects sure I've met people too where I've kind of wondered what you know that circle a on the back of their jacket really means um, but that doesn't change the fact that if, for example, you, for whatever reason, want to focus on changing your um, personal lifestyle, which then prob often means your um, role as a consumer in the society, your personal relationships, um, how that could be non-political. And I think in many ways that's fairly trivial, but in many ways it's only good if people you know, struggle on, on different fronts, I don't know. Some folks put a lot of energy into union organizing and some folks put a lot of energy into, I don't know, changing uh, our love relationships or whatnot. That's great. And I think people at the end of the day can only uh, benefit from one another if there is some kind of exchange and discussion and solidarity except of you know, mutual blaming for not living up to the ideals of anarchist um, activity or whatever.